first reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 34 and it's titled The Death of Moses. Then Moses went up to Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab and climbed Pisgah Peak, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land from Gilead as far as Dan, all the land of Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah extending to the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev, the Jordan Valley with Jericho, the city of Palms as far as Zoah. Then the Lord said to Moses, This is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, when I said, I will give it to your descendants. I have now allowed you to see it with your own eyes, but you will not enter the land. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, just as the Lord had said. The Lord buried him in a valley near Beth Pur in Moab, but to this day no one knows the exact place. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyesight was clear and he was as strong as ever. The people of Israel mourned for Moses on the plains of Moab for 30 days until the customary period of mourning was over. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him, doing just as the Lord had commanded Moses. There has never been another prophet in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. The Lord sent him to perform all the miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and his entire land. With mighty power, Moses performed the terrifying acts in the sight of all Israel. The second reading is from Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. It's titled, The Most Important Commandment. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees with his reply, they met together to question him again. One of them, an expert in religious law, tried to trap him with this question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second, a second is equally important. Love your neighbour as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.